All right, guys, you may recognize where we are. This is me just chilling outside of our beautiful project shed that we did in the last episode. And I did a little bit of work, guys. So if we head down here, close the door behind me, take our nice, you know, head slamming walk down the stairs. And here he is, big boy Larry, all decked out with his mending trade. Got a little bit of interior work in here, just roof, floor, and some walls put in. We have the composter over here, which we had last episode. And now we have this, just a bed. I, uh, I had to keep sleeping while I was down here. But here we go, guys. More basalt for today, because today, let me show you what we're gonna do. We are gonna be working on a project that has been long overdone or uh, long awaited this. This is gonna be a tower. And this right here is going to be a long trading hall building coming out to here. We're going to be adding, we're doing this kind of in stages. So we're going to build the main shape of it first uh, with a little bit of details like windows, maybe some lighting. And then as we uh, go through the series, we're going to be able to look at it and see what we want to change. But that's the project for today, guys. But as you can see, I'm going to need a lot of materials. It's a kind of a big build. So we're going to get some basalt, some blackstone and some more warped wood and some stone bricks. And then we're going to be ready to go. So let's get on with the collecting. Lot of stuff to use here we just chopped down a couple more trees after i stopped recording we got this much wood a lot of blackstone and a lot of basalt this goes right here could not figure that out and then i think actually guys i'm gonna make a bed for outside so i can uh sleep on the fly while i'm building this you know gotta have a bed handy i don't want to have to run all over the place all right i think we should be ready to go there's the iron farm going ham it's just been going the whole time been out here. Oh, I need to pick this up first. So I'm going to pick all this up, get rid of the dirt and stuff on the side of this tower. Going to clean up a little bit, but for you guys, we're just going to jump straight into the time lapse. All right, guys, the Villager Trading Hall building has been constructed. Incredible. So what I'm doing right now is doing some little decoration on the outside. I figured I could do something like this. 
and then take I want this piece off oh and I screwed it up oh I could just do that yeah and then this break this there we go that's what I want to do then we got a little uh tree here I'm not sure if I should go too high or why does that look so strange right there let me try and get this right all right the bamboo was way too much of a pain it was placing in the wrong spots i'm just gonna do fences hopefully that looks all right yeah it looks fine and then so there's a couple spots i also have to bone meal the parts that have the nylium let me do this real quick okay nice that's looking good and then over here see i had to have some spots that were just one because i couldn't place the trap doors uh back to back if that makes sense and then so we got to bone meal these parts and put this down here there we go we got a mushroom and then back here i'm also going to do these i just don't have enough uh trap doors at the moment i can need to craft some more but there it is guys that's outdoors of this thing pretty much done i don't know if i'm gonna do something in front of this but this is what it's looking like right now i like it a lot this is cool we're gonna add some uh nice pine trees here possibly a path going through here and coming down here so the next thing we need to work on is in here so what i brought with me was some carpets because i want a strip of uh lighting under the ground similar to how we did with the the um the shed so we're just gonna add maybe this is overboard on the amount of light but do we have enough no we don't so we need to figure it out let's get let's get the hoe out and let's do every other then i guess oops because that that would leave more space to use these in other parts of the build as well there we go and then what should i fill in these middle parts with i guess it doesn't matter because nobody's going to see it so it'll just be dirt just gonna fill this in with dirt and then cover the entire thing in carpets and right here we actually need a shroom light as well oh my god there we go and then i might just do white carpet all the way down but then again is this like placing above me <clears throat> Yeah, I don't have enough white carpet, so I could go make more. Or we could just alternate the colors. Just like the the shroom lights, you run out, so you just do it every other. Let me try doing that real quick. Let me see what this would look like. If I had it, I don't know why I'm using my hoe on the carpets like it's going to help. All right, here we go. I'm still doing it. All right. Every other. I mean, I'm still not going to have enough, it seems like. Yeah, and I don't really like it. Well, I guess I'll just go get more of whatever color I have in there. I'm not sure what I have more of. So this is either going to be white or black on the ground here. And then the villager cages, the actual cages. God, this sounds so bad. They're going to be on this wall. So it's going to be, you know, like this kind of thing. Every other there will be a villager. So we're going to have quite a few in here. Let's do this. And then I think on this wall, they will go all the way back. So let me get here, there. Yeah, and then we're gonna have a villager in each one of these slots. So it will have plenty of space to put the villagers. Here we go. Nice. All right, so I've got this. I got all the carpet laid out. I got a little shelf here, kind of put a door, weird little shape here. I don't know, I was trying to do something. So now I wanna work on the floor more. So we need to put I'm going to say warped underneath. Oh, this might be annoying if there's no blocks behind some of these. Let's do warped slabs. I'm not going to do full blocks. That's going to be way too expensive. And I'm running kind of low on this warped wood again. I had to chop down even more trees. All right, let's do it over here as well. Yeah, so basically the inside is going to be just where all the villagers we have are lined up. And where we can trade with all of them to get, you know, our... Uh, our goods <laughs> not sure what we're even looking for besides enchanted books but yeah we're gonna set up with a bunch of librarians for right now all right let's pop these in now yeah that looks good okay now i think we need to put some black stone in maybe so we're just gonna go like this how's that look oh yeah that's pretty good and there's obviously gonna be villagers standing in these spots so you won't even you won't even see this part of the build and then we gotta figure out what the heck to do with these parts hmm hard to say i mean i guess black stone right that's what it's oh there's an invisible block there all right yeah let's do black stone right here and i'm gonna do this side real quick too all right getting some pots down in here why not put a cornflower there put a poppy over here and and 
Azor blew it. Okay, anyway, we're gonna forget that even happened. This is how we're gonna get the villagers in. It's not gonna be pretty at all. This is gonna be very rustic, you know, situation here. This is this is how it's gonna happen though. They're gonna come out. I'm gonna take them down the track, and we're gonna get them um, into one of these spots. So first off, we're gonna go for this one, I think. So let's try. Here we go. I actually need to get some of this. Just realized. Back here. All right, here we go. Please tell me when you get sucked in. Yep, there we go. Then we're just gonna push them out. Nice. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take all this. Right, and then we can take this and put it back, which was right here, right? Yep, okay. Get you on your way. Let's go like this, right into your uh, home. Your home, this is gonna be your home. Nothing, nothing like a prison at all. Actually, I need to go sleep, oh my God. One second. All right, get this guy in his spot. Get in there, buddy. And then let's get, oh, that's not at all what I wanted to take. I wanna get the rail out from underneath. Uh, whatever, okay, let's just break his minecart first. Oh, it's good about, oh, no, please stay in. Go back in. No, oh, uh, this is gonna be a pain. What I was gonna say is, nope, you're not going out, you're not going out. No, what do you have anyway? You're not going out. Damn it, this is gonna be so annoying. I should have brought a boat. I need to get a boat. Yes, stay in there. Yes, okay, I got him in one of the spots at least. Jeez, this was, that was unbelievably annoying. Okay, we're good, we got it there guys, perfect. Put this back down, and look, now he's stuck in there. And you know, that's not the trade I want, and I realized this might not be a great idea. This guy that likes to run, and he didn't even change his trade. Yeah, I think I have to put maybe some double carpets underneath all the villagers so that they are not tempted to run out when I try and switch their trades. Like, let's see, will he switch? No, oh my gosh, he's gonna go outside again. All right, I've resorted to doing this. Just gonna put the double carpets in every single one and hope it, he almost wandered in. No, he always runs away right when I, go, please, onto that carpet. Nice. Okay. Oh no, he's not fully on it. <sighs> Why are you so difficult? I don't understand you. Why do you want to be difficult? Okay, this is what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to, can we do this? And then I'll be able to put this like on top or something. Would that stop him from, gosh, why wouldn't that please? If I do that, yeah, then he can't walk out. Okay, so let's try and do that if we can get him. Hey, nice, we got it, oh, I forgot that, that trapped him. Okay, perfect, we have him. And I didn't even do the carpet on that side, did I? Unbelievable, whatever, we'll just do it right here. And we'll put a carpet there for fun, okay. Now you're in here and you're not a librarian. Maybe I need to pick up and put it there. Yeah, this is much better. Now he's a librarian. Okay, now we can try and get a good trade with him. Let's see what we can get. Look at this trade, we got a silk touch trade. Oh. I don't have emeralds or paper on me. I need to hurry up before that trade goes away. Yeah, I hauled in a second villager. Just brought him in. You know, that was definitely easy. And then lined him up, start trading with both. Not trading, but trying to get good trades with both. Do I have any paper? Oh, ooh. Oh, I have a, oh gosh, oh. Oh no, this is not good. I might not have enough to lock anything in. Maybe I should have, uh, yeah, I should have paid attention. Let's see. Is he still silk touch? Yes, he is, but I don't have enough. Maybe I need to get this guy to trade paper with me real quick. Come on, do it. There we go. Oh, uh, so close. Let me check my silk, my, uh, what's it called? My sugarcane farm. Let me check there real quick. All right. I looked into it. We can't, we can't lock him in. We got silk touch, but we cannot lock it in. We actually absolutely can. Hold on. I just, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. How did I do that? Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. How did I not see? I have nine emeralds, don't I? I do. I can lock him in. What am I saying? I'm so worried about the paper. I'm trying to get the, the actual trade. This is it right here. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Unbelievable. I can't believe I didn't see this. Watch him now have reset. Nope. Look, bookshelf. And he's locked in. 
Beautiful. Silk touch, villager, locked in. And we can use this bookshelf. Oops, we can use this to make uh, more lecterns. Actually pretty useful. All right, guys, so that's the build right there. This is the a build done and obviously functioning. So what we're gonna pretty much do in here, oh, they're connected, is we're gonna line up a bunch of villagers. I gotta get more carrots going so that we can get these guys cooking, making some more babies. That's what we pretty much need. I also need something to trade with to get emeralds. Okay, paper, obviously big if we're gonna have all librarians in here. So we may need to make a absolutely massive sugarcane farm, like industrial size, but obviously not gonna be in this episode because that's gonna be a lot of more resource collection. But another thing I wanna say is we are gonna continue this path. I think I might go from right here, bring it up and around this way between the two houses and then connect here with the main path that goes this way back up to there. I'm not sure if I said all that already, but that is the plan. I want to do a little bit of landscaping and I want to throw in the paths before the end of this episode. So let's get to that real quick. I'm going to put in this path right here and I'll show you how it looks. All right, path built. We're just sticking in, uh, you know, the lamps, the usuals, putting down. Let's do it on both sides at the same time. Yeah, so we're just putting down these these little lights that we have along all of our paths. I don't want to overdo it too much, but I want to make sure it's lit up enough on here. These uh, these blue lanterns or blue torches, any of them, they, if you didn't know, they actually don't give off a lot of light. They actually are pretty bad. So it's difficult to use them only as your only light source because, yeah, they don't give off that much light. So what I'm going to have to do, actually, we're going to connect these, I think. We're going to have to use these this leaf trick again and hide things under the leaves and whatnot along here got with the foliage. Okay, so this path is pretty much done. It's looking nice. Now we just have to create another path that will go straight through here. I'm just trying to carve the area where I want to go. We're going to move this bed. This is what I've been using to sleep just because I've been out here. And then I think I want to come in right here, maybe where this bush is. So let's get rid of this to start. Ooh. That hides the light source though. Alright, so let's do it like right. Uh, we gotta move this, I think. Let's move it over here. And we'll toss the glowstone down there. Like, there we go. Okay. Now we can dig out the path. We're gonna have it come. We're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna have it come straight this way. This is kind of how I dig out my path. So I just kind of go crazy. Like this. And then we want it to kind of curve right here, I guess. I'm actually going to even get rid of this, uh, this dirt right here. There we go. And then we'll make it look like this was not, this was the ground that this is on, if that makes sense. So we're going to just kind of landscape this area up a little bit. So it looks like the house is on, or the storage system is on a little bit of a hill. There we go. That looks nice. And then we want the path to actually come in. It'll drop down right here and come straight this way and then link in right here nice i even dug the gravel perfect now uh i'll go down and lay down all the stuff that we need to this is the boring part so let me get to it almost done placing all this and i'm almost thinking maybe it would look good to have some texture in here like this yeah that oh my pickaxe i did not realize i was doing uh some basalt mining actually okay for now we can't. We're just going to leave it. Normal textures. We have a visitor. We have a visitor. Hey. Hey. How you doing, buddy? What you got? Some, ooh, some diamond ore mini blocks. I'm going to have to come up with something to use those mini blocks for. Like decoration, obviously. Great idea, but I need to come up with an actual really good uh, use for them. Let's see. There we go. Nice. Now all we got to do is add these. I also added the stairs in. I need to add some right here two on either side like that and that should be all the stairs added all right so let's do a little bit of lantern action so the next thing i want to do is add foliage around here you guys know that i said it already um i need to add it you know i want to do some bigger trees possibly though i don't really do huge trees but i want to try i want to do, try doing you know some nice big custom uh pine trees so this should be good i think like that there we go nice and these paths are looking real nice now so now all i gotta do is add foliage some wow made a weird noise i need to add some foliage leaves trees things like that and then we should be good 
but that's going to take a little while. All right, guys, I have been working hard on this. These trees, it took me forever to find a spruce forest. I even had to make a path in the nether to get there, but we're here and we have trees going up. This one is under construction currently, probably looks like crap right now. Yeah, but this one over here is done. See a little bit of a natural uh, kind of feel. I don't really like this one right here. Just kind of go back and fix it as I go. Fix that, that's better. Let's see what that looks like now. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, super simple custom trees inspired by uh, B-dubs, a Minecraft player. He plays on the Hermitcraft server. And he has some of these in you know the back of his base, kind of farther back. You don't really see them a lot, but I noticed them and I love the design. So that's what I, I kind of got inspired by that a little bit. And this is what it's looking like, looking really good. So we're gonna add another one right over here and then maybe a few more scattered around the place. But uh, for now, this is how the place is looking, looking really good. I'm gonna do a little bit more work, landscaping, putting some trees up and stuff, but we are looking real good, guys. All right, guys, so I added a little bit of some smaller trees, like these two right here. Add a little bit of water, some lily pads, certain things, finished off this tree, and the place is looking really good. I'm gonna add some more of these, maybe off camera, maybe not yet. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit, if you've made it all the way to the end of this episode, you get a little bit of a sneak peek at what the overall plans for this place are. So I cleared out this area, I want to put a building back here of some kind. I want to continue with these tall trees and the really uh, the nice paths with a lot of stuff around them, shrubbery, water. They're really uh, immersive feeling and I think these trees help a lot. But then I really want to take it over here and terraform this cliff right here into something, you know, it doesn't just look like a hill, you know, I actually go in have like a, a cliff, could even have an entrance to a mine under here and this could look great. We're gonna continue building buildings around here, connecting the roads, no sy symmetry at all. Just kind of uh, building the way that it would feel the most immersive. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun making our uh, villager training hall and decorating the place. It was a lot of fun actually. And um, I'm gonna to get to work off camera to prepare for the next episode, because we're gonna have something pretty crazy coming in the next one. So make sure that you subscribe to see that. I'll see you guys in that video.